ask you, why can a person with a penis not be a woman? Because women don't have penises. That's you. Why, why not? Can you find me a de dictionary definition of woman, which includes that? I would only point to your mom. Did your mom have a penis? I'm sorry. Does every woman have to have a penis? I know women with penises. My no women didn't. have ever had a penis, and no mom has ever had a penis. I'm just yes, asking. Moms had a lot of penises. Wait, I know. Wait, I know experience. moms with penises. So these, you know, these are irrational arguments. So let's give it another shot. Can well, you it's explain irrational to me? say that a woman can have a penis. I'm only giving you an example Why? of. Why? Because you're because you your your moms or women have wombs. Some of them do. And vaginas. I, I know this is news. This is what I mean by you, it's madness. You're not even engaging, dude. You're, you're you. lost. You're lost. It's like you, Vash, between the two of us, you're the, you're the crazy person, buddy. You're the one saying that a you're woman coming off have a No, I'm asking you, but you can't answer because you know that you have no arguments here. This is why I don't debate progressives anymore because you can't debate people that have vastly different principles than you. It's kind of like trying to figure out where to go on a map when the other person doesn't even agree with the definition of North. So what is happening here is the difference in principles between progressive ideology and common sense. So what I mean by this, in common sense, the reason we use language and the way words operate is to describe reality. In other words, reality exists, and when we see it, and we want to relate it to other people, we use words in order to convey that. So for example, let's say we go back in time and the first person ever discovers a cave. Like no one has seen a cave before. He is the first person to have experienced it. So he goes in the cave, he notices various elements that comprise the cave, and then he goes back to his village and explains what he saw. And he said, well, there was this hole in the ground and there were stalactites and stalagmites and there was a tiny river and there were bats and there, there was darkness, right? So all of these elements that the person describes is to define what a cave is for other people who have never seen it. And to also create the notion so that when another cave is discovered, people will know what that is. And this is the classical way of viewing language. Is we use words in order to define what objective reality is. The problem with progressives is that they do not believe in the concept of objective reality. They will point out that definitions, because they're not mathematical, because they're not fixed, they are social constructs. And as such, the definition that people in the past used are done with the sole purpose of oppressing minorities. And as such, if we can create arbitrary definitions, if we can create arbitrary constructs, then surely we can create a language that is more inclusive and is not done to oppress people. So, for example, <clears throat> if you are to describe your living room and you'll say, well, there's a table, there's a carpet, there's a chair. The progressive who wants to deconstruct what you just said and to prove to you that objective reality doesn't exist, he will say, well, what is a chair? And you're taken aback because you didn't even think about it. Like you've been using the concept of a chair since you were born. Like you're, you're used to it and you expect other people to argue in good faith and they know what you're referring to. So you're probably going to say, well, it's a piece of furniture designed for humans to sit on it. And then the progressive will say, ah, but what about a stool? Like a stool is what you describe, but it's not a chair. And therefore, you're wrong. Right? Like, they get to prove to you that these words that you used to describe can be malleable, like they can be whatever anyone wants. And if they can be whatever anyone wants, then why not just change things to be more inclusive, to make people feel more comfortable, right? So the purpose of language is no longer to describe reality because, again, they reject the concept of reality. The purpose of language is to achieve social change, is to create new ways of making people feel good. Now, the problem with this is that objective reality exists. And in our nations, we have many safeguards to protect women. Like, for example, when we send people to prisons. Like, if you have a rapist, you don't want to send them to the women prisons. Right? Like, you send them to the male prisons. You can't talk about women's rights without actually defining what a woman is. And there are people who aren't leftists, by the way, that understand that this is the new meta, these are the new rules, and they're taking advantage of the system in a very cynical-oriented fashion. For example, here in Europe, 
I think it was in Switzerland. I might be wrong with the country, but <clears throat> definitely it's in the news. Uh, the pension for women was younger than for a man. Like that, that was the rule in that country. So what a man did is he identified as a woman on government papers, right? Because they didn't require any sort of proof that the person genuinely identifies or uh, didn't require any medical records or anything like that. You just needed to go at the city hall, claim that you're a woman, and they would give you an ID card. So he managed to retire earlier. Now, this is a cisgender person, not an activist, not a left-leaning person. He just looked at the system and said, oh, so if I just get this piece of paper, I can actually retire earlier? And the answer was yes. So he went and got the piece of paper. Bada bim, bada boom. A similar legislation was considered in Germany. I don't know if they passed it or not because this was before the pandemic. But they wanted to pass two different legislations. So one legislation would be to give tax exemption to rainbow families. So if you happen to be uh, part of the LGBT community, uh, if you're trans uh, and you have a family, they're going to give you a tax exemption. And the other legislation was to make it very easy for people to transition from one gender to another. Same thing. You go to the city hall. You claim that you identify as a different gender, boom, they give you an ID card. Obviously, a lot of people are going to do it. Like, I would fucking do it. Why wouldn't I? I mean, again, the government is creating a paper system where you can just get a tax exemption. I mean, I know during the pandemic, other streamers that were making a killing because everyone was stuck in their homes. Everyone was just watching uh, Twitch and everyone was watching YouTube streams, right? So the streamers were making more money. And then the government comes up with a solution for companies that were struggling during the pandemic. And many of those streamers actually fit the criteria. So not only were they making a lot of money, but now they were taking money from the government as well with tax exceptions or flat out welfare, because this is how humanity works. This is reality. If you're giving people an easy way out, if you're incentivizing people and, and the process is so easy, of course people are going to take advantage of it. It doesn't matter that you're thinking, oh, well, we're creating this system to benefit trans people. Who cares? Like, if people can make money off of it, they will. Right? So that is the, the, the first problem. The second problem, think about criminals. Right? Like, if I commit a crime and I get caught, I get sent into the men prison. The men prison is renowned for being a harsh place. But there can be criminals that go like, okay, well, if I identify as a woman and I go to the government and I just change my ID card, if I get caught, I get placed in the women's prison. That's far less worse, right? Like, you are creating this system where you abolished all barriers that were meant to protect women. And it's interesting to see, like, people on the right, like big towels and incels and all of people supporting this concept. Like, yeah, sure, let's abolish the barriers. Why are the barriers there in the first place? Aren't we supposed to be equal? Like, why should women get the... Uh, diversity hires and scholarships and stuff. Now I can identify as a woman and I can benefit from the same stuff. Well, like what's your argument against that? So, this is like one thing. The other interesting thing is that why they want to abolish gender, they don't want to abolish race. Did you notice that? Like that is very interesting. The same concept that you can use to abolish gender can also be used to abolish race. Like what exactly is race? What, what is a black person? Like what, what makes a person black? I mean, I, I have black ancestry. I'm pretty sure if I look down on it and I go all the way to uh, the beginning of humanity in Africa, I can be like, well, look, I have black ancestors there. Elizabeth Warren can claim to have Native American heritage. So therefore, she can say, well, I identify as a Native American. Why can't she? Without that one person in her family tree, which was Native American, she wouldn't be born. So you can make the exact same argument. And then you can also look at... Uh, uh, people like Beyonce, apparently she was shocked when she followed her family tree and she noticed that at one point in her generation there was a white slaver which married uh, her mother. And that was one of her ancestors, right? So is she white? Is she? Does she have to pay reparations, right? Like you can use the same deconstruction that they use for gender and you can use it for race. And for some reason they get really angry when that is done, but they can't articulate why. I mean, Hassan Piker, for example, had an aneurysm on his stream when he found out that there's this famous white person who wanted to become Korean and he actually got facial surgery and stuff. And he was like, oh my God, this is a mockery for trans ideology. And I'm like, what the fuck does one have to do with another, number one? And number two, I, I thought that uh, words are interchangeable. Like, why, why can't he? use uh, facial reconstruction surgery and identify as South Korea? Like, wh why wouldn't he be able to? And the answer is, is it could completely destroy 
the entire progressive ideology because all of a sudden you have people like uh, Robin DiAngelo saying, oh, white fragility, blah, blah, blah. And then white people go like, well, I don't identify as white. I, I'm Jewish. I'm uh, uh, black. I'm uh, whatever, right? So then people can also benefit from affirmative action. Then you can have like white people identify against minorities so they can uh, get diversity uh, positions in various companies and corporations. So they understand that, that it can create such a damage to the way things work that it needs to be rejected. But for some reason, maybe misogyny, I don't fucking know. When it's about gender, oh, they're promoting this. It's, and by the way, regarding Vosh, you know, like the moment MSNBC or CNN is going to say that, yeah, this is going a little bit too far. We need to dial it a little bit back. Then Vosh is going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to dial it a little bit back. Like, I don't even know why people watch Vosh. Like, you can just go on MSNBC, see what they're talking there. And that's what Vosh is going to say. Like, I'm genuinely curious where he and George Bush disagrees on. Like, on what topic and, and for what reason, besides religion. But, like, the thing is, you know, like, he's got, like, all of this ideology and the, he's talking about the revolution and all this shit. But when push comes to shove, like, literally every single progressive agenda that Joe Biden is supporting, he is supporting as well. Because I remember when Joe Biden went into office, he was like, oh, well, we need to support him so that we can infiltrate the Democratic Party from within. And then we can manipulate them so that they can do what we want. But, like, does he even disagree with Joe Biden policies? I'm curious. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section.